A film a little over an hour, and it started out like the first five minutes or more was just a close up scene of somebody lacing their shoes while the preliminary credits rolled. And you knew you were in for something really special when, under executive producer, it said that the name was withheld by request. <laughs> and I think there were, I think there were other names withheld by request as well. And you know, when you have a, a a movie that ends, which this one did, where in the credits it's it promises a sequel and then parenthetically states, "Just kidding," you know they had a lot of confidence in this product. And I feel like they may have changed their expectations of the movie while they were working on it, because it did not seem to be consistently put together to be marketed towards any particular target group, being that it had the feeling of a type of after-school special that devolved into a softcore porn scene by the end. And it had, you know, the typical, like, 40-year-old high school students in these ladies. And the one uh, was obsessed with a show called Chick Boxer and wanted to be a chick boxer herself. So she took karate classes and started learning how to kick and punch and only about that. And then there was some thin plot about some kind of a group of criminal masterminds trying to, uh, trying to frame the mayor, I think it was. And then she uh, finds out her martial arts instructor is in on it and goes to fight him. And you know, pretty much delivers in one kick after getting knocked down, and then that that's it. And then she kind of saved the day. And it really did have this kind of golly G teamed film kind of vibe to it up until there was almost a hint of, of schlong at the end, and <laughs> they're porking away. And it, in a completely arbitrary scene that the, the lady who was supposed to play chick boxer in the TV show was supposed to be filming a porn, and it felt like that was thrown in just as a bonus and, and filler. Uh, it had some great lines on in it, like, your dad thought he was hot shit on a silver platter, but was nothing more than a cold turd on a paper plate, which <laughs> isn't so much a great line as it was obviously thought to be a great line. And I think they really thought they were going somewhere with this film, setting a tone. It looked, I thought some of the styling looked like it was a pa parody of the 1990s, early 90s, but it was actually 90s stuff. And it was entertaining to me. They ended and showed the shoe tying scene all over again. Oh, boy. I don't know. I don't know. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat.